Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of in a goofy mood right now. Today we are here to show you guys, today I am here to show you guys an easy, quick, affordable makeup look. And this would be pretty good for, I guess, back to school or if you want to look really good for work, but it's not gonna take that long. I also used pretty much all affordable tools as well. Don't know if I really mentioned them while I did it. I will mention everything down in the description box below. I will do this look without winged eyeliner, so it's just really simple and it looks like you put in a lot of work. I only use one eyeshadow, which doesn't look like it, huh? So I just hope you guys enjoy and take something away from this tutorial. Yeah, so let's just Get right into it. And then I'm gonna go in with a primer. I'm gonna be going in with my NYX Shine Killer Primer. This definitely isn't a pore filling primer, so if you have larger pores, I would definitely not recommend this. I'm gonna start off with my first step, which is concealer. I'm gonna be taking two concealers today, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I'm gonna take the Fit Me first, and I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild, mix it in and tap it into the skin. What this does is with your fingers warm, it kind of melts the product a little bit into your skin more. And then what I like to do is take a sponge like this and push it into the skin. Okay, now that we're looking super light everywhere, um, we're gonna balance it all out now and we're gonna add foundation. And if you guys watched my favorites video, you'll know that the foundation I've been loving is my Revlon Colorstay. Now for this foundation, it's definitely a medium to full coverage foundation. If you use a brush first with this, it'll be more full coverage, but I'm just gonna go in straight with the beauty sponge. So from here though, I'm looking a little bit shiny. So I'm gonna set my face. And what I'm gonna use today is my Elf Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna really focus the powder where it's needed. Actually, it's needed all over my face, but I'm gonna really focus it first with a smaller brush. And I'm gonna take it under my eyes to really set the concealer so it does not move. And then set down the really oily areas, which is my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And I'm gonna just hit some of my smile lines because I've been creasing there and I never have before. It's kind of weird, but yeah. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush like so and just set the rest of my face. And pro tip, you wanna pounce the brush on your face as opposed to smearing it around because then you'll move around the foundation. And that pro tip is from all the YouTuber pros that I learned from, sir. Then from here, I like to bronze my face. I'm not really focusing on contouring this look, so I'm just gonna take my NYC Sunny. It's definitely more on the warmer side, so you can't really look too harsh when you're contouring. And really focus on blending it so it looks natural. From here, since you don't wanna have just bronze on your cheeks, you wanna get some of the bronzer, tap it off, and go around the perimeters of your face. And you wanna bring the excess around your jawline. And then we're gonna go into my brows. I'm gonna actually be going for a more natural-ish brow today. And I'm gonna be using my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. But from here, we're gonna just focus on the eyes. I just like to take my transparent powder and highlight my brow bone. This will also kind of sort of clean up the arch. And I'm gonna just bring this powder all the way down to my lid so that we can set that concealer from earlier. All right, now this eyeshadow look is gonna be really, really easy. I'm not even kidding you. Anyone can do this shadow look. I'm gonna be taking my ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade Lala, and it's just a warm, orangey, copper shade. So I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger, just go straight onto my eyelid. You don't need to worry about being too messy or anything. You do want to bring it up pretty much into your crease. Now from here, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild crease brush and just kind of blend the edges so it doesn't look too harsh. And I'm really going to do circular motions outwards. As you can see, this looks way more blended and this looks harsh. And if one side is obviously looking a little bit more pigmented and elongated, you can always go back and add more. 
Now you can use any of these ColourPop Super Shock shadows to do this look because these shadows are very creamy and then they're very easy to blend out. So I would suggest using a ColourPop shadow. And what I, what's nice about these metallic shadows is that they blend out and it looks like I used two eyeshadow colors. And if it's still looking a little bit harsh out here, I like to take a bigger brush like this, which is my e.l.f. concealer brush, and really, really blend out the edges using the same circular motions. That is pretty much it for the eyeshadow look. And I'm just gonna wing out my liner. All right, I have pretty uneven eyes, so I never know when my eyeliner is even or not, but that's as good as it's gonna get. When I curl my lashes and stuff, it doesn't really make that much of a difference anyways. From here, I am going to now curl my lashes. Then we're gonna just apply a lot of mascara. I actually kind of, before I move on, I like to go back and add eyeliner because my eyelash curler removes my eyeliner. And I'm gonna take this Rimmel London waterproof coal pencil and tightline. This is gonna make my lashes look more full. And then we're gonna use mascara to really show your lashes. And I'm gonna be taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. So we're gonna finish up the eyes, I guess, while we're zoomed in, and what we're gonna do is dip back into this ColourPop shadow, and I'm gonna take a small smudger brush, like so. Smudge that on the outer lower lash line, and bring it in two thirds of the way in. And then from here, we're gonna take the same voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, apply to the bottom lashes. So as you can see, it's looking like we put a pretty good amount of effort into our face right now. Now I'm gonna be taking my Wet n Wild blush and put that on the apples of my cheeks. For the highlight for this look, I'm gonna be taking my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. It looks something like that. You can bring this highlight down more onto the cheeks because it is a little bit more pigmented. A little bit. On my cupid's bow. And for me, there's no need to go down my nose because I'm oily. I almost forgot. I like to take my highlighter and highlight the inner corners of my eye. And that is it for the look. So now I'm just gonna set my face before we move on to the lips. Alright, so now while the rest of the face is, you know, just trying, I'm going to finish off the look and I'm going to add lip liner. And then I'm gonna apply my NYX Lip Lingerie in Ruffle Trim. All right guys, so that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this super quick and easy orange copper eyeshadow tutorial. I really hope that some of this or some of what I did today helped somebody out there. And I don't know, <laughs> thumbs up for it being easy. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Definitely comment down below what you would like to see next. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.